Hey guys, how are you going? So we've been in our brine for three days and a half, to be honest, because it's been a long day. Um, you can visually see the difference the cure has done to your meat. So obviously when it went in, it was red, now it's not. So that's broken down that tissue, made it softer, and it's gonna help that curing process to make the meat safe. So I've done the first one already. I um, sterilized my hooks. You can obviously do that by boiling them. Alcohol, vinegar. I put mine in my bottle sterilizer and steamed them. Okay, so I've written my full weight on there already. With Bill Tommy, as we said in the last video, we're aiming for a 50% weight loss. Not all cured meats are the same, so do your research first. Because it's 50%, I can easily work that out of my head with the original weight. So it's just easier for me just to write the one weight. Okay, so when you're doing it, you want to keep your seed mix and your chili and stuff on there if possible. It's not always going to be possible. Now, if you don't have meat hooks already, not everyone has them laying around, you can use paper clips. Um, of course, you might want to be using a fairly smaller size bit of meat. Okay. Probably should have laid that before I put the hook in. So that one's 212. So when that's done, we want it for half of that, which is 106. Now, um, I'm all about work smarter, not harder. So I've, I've got my trusty meat hanging apparatus ready to go. So this is going to be easy for me to hang up in my shed and pull down to check. Okay? Um, it's pissing down with rain outside, so I'm not going to show you that bit, but we'll do another video and say halfway, so two, three days and see how we're looking. Okay guys, see ya!